Welcome back to the new lecture. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about transforming data. DataWeave 2.0 is a MuleSoft expression language for accessing and transforming data. Why not Java? MuleSoft claims that DataWeave is faster than Java and has added advantages. We can transform data from any format to any other format, for example, JSON to XML, XML to CSV, JSON to CSV, and so on. Why we need the transformation? Let's see that uh, you have integration system. You are receiving requests from one source and you have to send the uh, modified, transformed, updated data to syst system two. In that case, you need to take care of the transformation. Uh, or even uh, while uh, you want to add data in the database, database might want data in a particular format. So uh, you might want to change it uh, at that place. MuleSoft has taken care of most Mule jobs. Mule jobs is repetitive jobs. So your tool takes care of those jobs, right? Like, for example, we create HTTP connection, JDBC uh, connection. So you just uh, drag and drop the palette and you can access the uh, a code uh, which is required to create the connection. But the soul of MuleSoft is data view language. So uh, whatever additional uh, you need to do, which is the unique uh, job, not the mule job that is handled in data weave. So if you uh, you must uh, understand data weave to, you know, even uh, work in real life project. We can access any specific field inside a payload using data weave. For example, whenever we are receiving payload, if we want to access it, we access it using payload.name. So that is also data weave uh, language. Basically, we can do all kind of extraction and transformation using it. The basic format of uh, data weave looks like this. You get some input here. In this case, uh, it is, uh, for example, first name max, last name mule. Then in transform part is the one that you need to take care in uh, your code and output is the one which is required by the next system. So in this case, input is just in JSON format and output needs to be in XML format. Now in transform, you will be writing this code inside your uh, transform activity. In that, uh, you will see first the header. Header contains directives that apply to the body expression. So first it will show you DW2.0, that is the latest version of data weave, and then comes output application slash XML. So this part tells that uh, in which format you want to transform your input to. It's so simple, right? Uh, you just give uh, application slash XML and uh, MuleSoft is already taking care to transform it. You just need to follow a uh, few syntaxes, correct syntaxes. Uh, after that comes these three dotted lines, three dash. So those are delimited to separate header and body. Be above header above this uh, dashed lines would be your headers and below that everything is your body in the body you will have actual data weave expression that is generating the output structure as required for example here in input you have first name but in your um, output you want f name so here you are transforming it how you are saying f name colon payload dot first name. So you are assigning value of payload dot first name to uh, F name here and same with the L name. It's uh, very important to uh, identify difference between object and array. Object is always enclosed with these two curly braces and it will always contain a key value pair. Let's see a few example and let's guess if it is a correct object or not. It must be uh, enclosed in curly braces. So all these four are enclosed in curly braces. So first condition is met. Now let's say second condition. It must contain key value pair. So in first name colon Mangesh. Yes, condition is met. So it is a valid object. In second one, it is name colon Mangesh comma id colon two. So here we have two key value pairs separated by comma. So this is also correct format. Then comes Kalyani. So either it is key or value we don't know. So in this case, this is not a valid object. And next one is name colon Kalyani comma two. So name colon Kalyani is correct key value pair, but comma 
uh, two, we don't know if it is key or value. So this is also not a valid object. This I have shown with very uh, small examples, but even for um, you know lengthy looking examples, you should be able to guess it correctly if you just see the enclosed braces and key value pair. Now let's understand array. An array is always enclosed with square bracket, unlike object, and it contains only values. So here are again uh, multiple examples that I have given, and we have to find out if it is an array, valid array or object. So first one is Mangesh comma two comma Mulesoft. So these are three different values separated by comma. So it is a valid array. Next comes name colon Mangesh comma Deshpande. So in this, the uh, outer one. If you have guessed it already is object because it is having name colon value and value is an array because in value it is enclosed it is an array it is enclosed in square bracket and it has multiple values so inside one is a valid array then comes uh, third one name colon mangish in square bracket so colon uh, uh, makes it name value pair so uh, are name value pairs allowed in array no, only values are allowed. So third one is not an array. Now comes map and map object. Map operators uh, is always used to access arrays inside your data wave and map object is used for objects. You cannot use map object operators for arrays and you cannot vice versa. You cannot use map operator for your objects dollar gives the value of field value or uh, the key and dollar dollar gives index of the field so this is just revision um, you already know the concepts let's see important uh, operators here uh, we have different operators in data view like map map object reduce plug flatten these are again to name just few now can be applied on input which are so map as we discussed in earlier slide can be applied only to arrays so if your input is array only in that case you can uh, um, use map operator for objects you cannot use map so ex to extract value of arrays in input you need to have use map for uh, output type so when you have uh, array as input and you use map operator then what would be your output uh, as type array so this is exam question ensure that you remember it correctly so output of map would always be array and output of map object would be object so it is uh, quite simple to remember uh, map input is array output is array map object input is object and output is also object map is used for array can be used for array of objects and map object can be used for uh, here output is an object right now uh, come uh, I'm, I would just want to touch it once but uh, in exam uh, mostly you wouldn't see questions on reduce or plug so reduce is to reduce uh, it is applied on arrays and you can reduce the array list to anything to you know reduce it into given expression and plug is used on objects it is exactly same as map object it is used to access uh, object but if you want your output as array in that case instead of using map object you will have to use plug because your output needs to be array okay and then flatten we have seen flatten uh, use inside your uh, scatter gather what does it does it is applied on arrays we used to get multiple different arrays and we wanted to merge them together so from multiple arrays it makes it a single set of array so flatten is uh, used to turn multiple sub arrays into a single array here from exam perspective map map object and flatten are important to remember